Hello friends, in this video I will show you how you can display toast message in a PHP login form. I will have a login form and when the user logs in successfully, it will display toast notification saying login is successful. Toast message is a kind of message which appears on the screen for a few seconds and then it disappears. I have already developed a simple login form using PHP and MySQL. I will show that first and then I will show how to add code in it to display the login successful message as a toast notification. So let me show the login form first. So in the browser I enter localhost toast. So it gives me the home page. Click here. It shows the login form. So let me log in. So I am giving email ID and password to log in. It logs in successfully and displays the username, email ID and a logout option. So far I have not added code to display the toast message, but I want to add code to this project so that there will be a message like toast message, which will appear from the right like this or from the left like this or from the top or from the bottom. So this is the toast message I want to display in this project so that as soon as the user logs in successfully in the home page, this message will be displayed. So let us see how we can do that. So I have created a toast folder under htdocs. And these are the files and folders I am using. So let me open this in Visual Studio Code. I have a CFG folder and I have kept dbconnect.php in this folder. I am using a database demo and using MySQL I connect to connect to the database. So let me show you the database here. So this is the demo database which I am using and there is a table users. This is the table I am using. So if you see here, I have the create table script for the users table. So email name and password, these are the columns. And I have inserted one row in this table just for login purpose. It's test at test.com email ID and this is the name and this is the MD5 hash of password 123. So I have just inserted this row in the table. So if you see the table here, this is the structure of the table and this is one row in the table. Let us see the other programs. I have a style under CSS folder. This is the style so far I have used for the login form. Header.php, I am using bootstrap 5 and included my custom style.css and jQuery library I am using here. Also, I am starting session here. Index.php is my home page. So in the home page, I am just checking if user is logged in, then I am displaying the user name and email ID by checking the session variable and also a logout option. If user is not logged in, then I am just displaying the login option here. If you see here, this is the home page where it is displaying the username, email ID and logout. And if I log out, then, then it gives me the login option. This is the login form. Let me just show you. This is a very simple login form which I am using. This is the form. And I have used the email ID, password and submit and cancel button. So if you see here, after the form is submitted, I am just getting the email ID and password, generating MD5 hash of the password, and then selecting the data from the user's table. And if there is a successful login, I am setting two session variables here, name and email, which are being displayed in the home page, and then redirecting the user to the home page. 
This is the logout.php. I'm just unsetting the variables and deleting the session. So this is a simple login form I have developed so far. But we need to add the toast notification as soon as user logs in successfully. So let us do that. Step one, add a placeholder for the message. If you see that after successful login, user is redirected to home page and then the message appears. So that means message is appearing actually on the home page. So let us add a div in index.php for the message. You can add this div in anywhere in this index.php within the body. So I have added here with id equal to show msg. Step 2. In login.php, add a session variable for the message. So we have added a session variable called toast msg after the successful login. So it will display the login successful. Now in index.php, we want to display this message when user is logged in. So here we have added if session variable is set for the message, then we are displaying the message here. So let us see so far how this message is displayed. So we can see login successful message is coming here. I could not capture the entire screen and that is why the full message is not coming. But we need to display this for a few seconds. So we need to add some jQuery scripts here. So let's do that. Step 3. Add jQuery script in index.php to display the message for few seconds. So let us write the jQuery script in index.php. We will use a set timeout function to display the message for let's say 5 seconds. Also, we'll check whether the session variable is set for the message or not. So here we are adding a new class called display for the show message where we are displaying the show message. If you see the show message here, we are adding a new class here and we will add the CSS for that uh, class. So we are adding here and then you are using set timeout function. So let's say 5 seconds we are we want to give delay. So here, so you want to give delay 5 seconds which means that message will be displayed for 5 seconds and then it will be disappeared. So that means we are removing this class after 5 seconds and then let us unset the session variable. Now let us add some little bit style here for the display and also for the show message id show message we are going to add some style. So here initially we are hiding this id, so message id we are initially hiding and then in the display we are making it visible. So let us now run and see how it is working. Log out. So the message is appearing and it should disappear after 5 seconds. Let's see. Okay, so it's disappearing now. So our code is working. 
So now we will add some style and animation to this message. So let's do that now. So here we have given the position fixed and top 50% which that means it will come from the middle and then right 30px message will come from the right side color background and padding radius. So now let us see how it is working. Log out, log in again. So the message is appearing from the right and there is a better style now and it is disappearing after 5 seconds. So, so far it is working fine. So now the last step is to add some animation. So let's do that. We want to add the animation for the message. So we'll be adding that in the display class. So we are adding fade in and fade out for 1 second and delay 4 second. Now let us add the animation for fade in and fade out. Now we have to see that since we are displaying the message from the right, so we will give a from and to and from would be 0 to right it would be 30px. So let us write that. We are going to add opacity also. Here we have to make 30px and opacity 1. So let's do that for fade out also. For fade out it will be opposite from 30px to 0. Let's now run that and see how the animation is working. Log out and log in again. Message is coming. Looks like there is some problem here. It is not appearing properly. So let's see where is the problem. So here we have to use 30. Rest looks fine. So let's now run it. Okay, now it looks working fine. So let's see. Yes. So animation is working fine. So now we want the message to be appeared from the left side. So replace right with left. Here, change the position here left. So we have made changes. We just replace right with left. And let's see. message is coming from the left side and we can do the same thing for the top and the bottom also. Let's do that. Let's do for the top now. So for the top we have to change the position. So here we will change it to left and this is top and replace all the left with top. So let's see now, log out and log in. Yes, it's coming from the top. Now let's do the same thing for the bottom. We want the message to appear from the bottom. So all we have to do, just replace the top with bottom. Let's see that now. Yes, message is coming from the bottom also. So this way we can display the post notification on a PHP page. In this case, I have displayed that for login form. You can do that for any other action.
where you want to show the toast notification on the screen. So I hope I could explain it properly. If you find it useful, please give a like and subscribe the channel. Same topic is discussed in the website codehowto.com. You can go there. I have given the URL in the description of this video. You can see the step by step instruction given in the web page. You can download the code also free. You don't need to sign up. Hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for watching the video.